As Paul concludes his letter to the church at Ephesus, he has a strong word for the believers there, something to encourage and challenge them with, something important he didn't want them to miss, and something I believe the Lord doesn't want you or I to miss today. In verse 10, Paul said, a final word. In other translations, it's in conclusion. See, Paul has come to the end of what he wants to say to the church, and he really wants them to focus in on just one more thing. And here it is. Be strong with the Lord's mighty power. Be strong, Paul says, not with some great physical force, not with superior intellect or emotional strength. Be strong in the power that's only ascribed to the Lord himself. It's the greatest power the world has ever known, the power that was strong enough to raise Jesus Christ from the dead. Be strong in that power, Paul says. There's no other power that compares. But that's not all. In addition to the Lord's mighty power, Paul says we need to put on all of God's armor. Notice again, it's not your armor, it's not my armor, it's God's armor. Why put it on? So that you'll be able to stand firm against the strategies and tricks of the devil. Paul tells us two important things about our enemy. First, he's strategic. He knows us. His plans against us are purposefully waged against our weaknesses. And the enemy is also tricky. And through deception and schemes, he can use even our own strengths and talents against us. Our enemy. He's strategic and tricky, and that's why we need God's armor to withstand his attacks. So let me encourage you today, as you fight your battles, and we all have them, to set aside anything you have to fight with and take up the power and the armor that God provides. Be strong and stand firm in the Lord Jesus Christ.